Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg and I am standing in front of one big old black Lincoln here, guys. 76 model, Mark IV, unbelievable car here, guys. So go to our website at vanguardmotorsales.com. We're gonna put it up on the lift so you can see how nice the bottom side is. We're gonna pop the hood and look at all that Ford power under the hood. We're gonna look at the interior. We're gonna look at the moon roof. We're gonna show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision on this Lincoln investment. So come on up and we'll pop the hood. Check this beauty out, man. The chrome on the front bumper looks brand new. That Lincoln Mark grill looks brand new. And that jet black paint is straight as an arrow. What a beautiful car, man. This car is slick as can be. I know you guys that watch videos all the time know that my dad was in love with these babies. He really liked the Mark V, but I tell you what, this Mark IV is beautiful. And look at those gangster whites on those beautiful aluminum wheels. Those babies are slick and they're very, very rare. We got a bunch of these cars in stock off and on. I'm always looking for those wheels. So if you've got a set of those wheels, I'd love to talk to you. Give me a call. Look at that door panel, beautiful. Car's only got a little over 40,000 miles original on it. The seats look amazing. The carpeting looks great. All the upholstery on the car is in beautiful shape. Headliner looks great. And look at that moonroof. I tell you what, that thing is beautiful. Dash is in great shape. Steering wheel looks good. Everything about the car is amazing, guys. She is a Lincoln and she's in beautiful shape. You can tell this dude lived indoors its entire life. The chrome on the back bumper looks great. Continental right there, baby. The emblem looks great. And I love these little slide overs. That's so cool. Look inside the trunk here. I don't think anything was ever in that trunk. The jack's in there. It looks like there's a spare in there. Look how clean all these areas are. You can tell this car lived indoors its entire life. It has led a very pampered life since 1976. Now look down the side of it. No door dings, nicks, cuts, bruises, scratches, nothing. This door operates nice and smooth. Now at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. That means we've spent the time to check this car out and the other 220 cars we have in stock, we check them all out before we buy them. That's right, we own all of our inventory at Vanguard. Then when they get back here to the shop, we inspect them so we can answer any question you have. So call Tom at 248-974-9513 and he'll tell you anything about this Mark IV you wanna know. Now let's go outside and drive this beauty. Let's take our Lincoln Mark IV out for a ride. What a sweet ride it is too. Look at that big old long black hood out there. Look at the reflections. You can see the blue sky and the white clouds and the green trees. Man, it is one beautiful, beautiful reflection. And I tell you what, that hood goes on for miles, guys. What a sweet ride we've got here. She sounds awesome. She's riding smooth. Just an amazing machine, this Lincoln here, guys. When I was a kid, all my dad ever wanted was a Mark V. We actually had a Mercury uh, Marquee. Looks like it's starting to sprinkle on us here. We better get this baby back to the barn. 
Well, I gotta finish up this video so you guys can get this baby parked in your driveway. Anyway, we go back to the story. My uncle ended up buying one. We had the Link or the Mercury Marquee, just a sweet ride. Now, if you wanna check this car out, call Tom at 248-974-9513. We'd love to have you come down to the shop and take a look at it. We can deliver it anywhere in the world, so just call Tom and he can tell you how easy it is to do that. Now look down here on the dash. Uh, the Speedo's working down here, the gas gauge is working. Um, we've got all the settings for the lights and here's the controls for the heating and cooling. Now there is one red light on it saying low fuel. Now the guys put five gallons of fuel in it. It came up to a quarter. So we'll take a look at that low fuel light. Um, the horn's working, the tilt column's working, it's on the turn signal, you Ford guys will remember that. We'd love to have you come visit us. We don't get a lot of visitors at Vanguard because we ship about 90% of our cars sight unseen. So we'd love to have people come on out and take a look. We're right outside the Motor City, only 20 minutes from the airport. Uh-oh, here comes the rain. We're definitely gonna have to get this thing inside. So come on out and visit us. Remember, we're open on Saturdays and we're buying about 40 cars a month too. So we'd love to show you this car and buy any of the quality cars you have. Now would be a good time to test the windshield wipers. Look at that, they work great. Now here's our shop at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. Now stick with us because we're gonna put this car up on the lift so you can check out the underside then we're gonna pop the hood and take a look at that awesome power plant up front underneath that beautiful hood. Now let's get this thing inside and dry it off. All right guys, this is the underside of our uh, 67, or, excuse me, 76 uh, Lincoln. Uh, unfortunately, Greg is out of the shop for the second half of this video, so I'm gonna have to take it from him here uh, for the very end of it. Uh, starting from the back forward, as we always do, uh, body rot on this is minimal, if, if non-existent on this thing. You can see that, of course, the frame, all that, none of that has even pitting on the inside here. Everything is very, very original on this, except for the exhaust of which, which is brand new on this car. Um, drop downs on this, you'd always see a lot of rot right in here, and of course, you don't see any. There's no holes, nice and solid. Even has the uh, plug still in it on both sides. Uh, Ford 9-inch rear end, 2.75 to 1 uh, gear ratio in this rear end. Uh, this is 1976. We were trying to get gas mileage up, and of course, this is a Lincoln. This thing's meant to cruise on the freeway doing uh, you know, almost no RPM, and this will do that with this rear end. Open differential, and I do believe it to be correct for the car based on the uh, tag that the, this thing still has. Um, we got, of course, brand new big mufflers here. Disc brakes in the rear, if I didn't mention it, all the soft lines on this car have been replaced. Um, you know, given that it's a 1976, that's a good idea to do so. Floorboards on this are actually in amazing shape. I mean, it looks like this, I would be surprised if they came looking this well, uh, good from the factory. It's uh, really, really nice. Uh, someone looks like they probably have gotten underneath this car and spent some time loving on this a little bit. And they look to be all original to the car. There is no seam here where they would have been replaced. All the spot welds you can still see here, which is really awesome. All the brake lines here look like they're in excellent shape. Parking brake looks like it is still functional. Uh, moving forward to that, of course, U-joints. We always check our U-joints on our drive shaft. No big surprise there. Uh, for transmissions, we have a Ford C6. I've seen the VIN number myself. It is a numbers matching transmission for this car. Even still has the tag on it. Catalytic converters are still on this, thank God. And it looked like they're probably the original ones for the car. Um, so there's also that big positive as well. Um, 460 under the hood here. Uh, this thing I have seen, the reason I'm bringing it up now is I've seen the VIN number on the back of the cylinder head, matches the transmission VIN number, um, which matches the VIN number of the car. It's all tight and right on this thing. Moving forward to that, oil pan looks like it's got a nice paint job on the bottom of it. Um, you can also see we do have, looks like relatively new shocks uh, in the front here in blue and then in the back there it looks like it's had some replacement shocks put on it as well. Like I had mentioned, flex, uh, flex lines are new. Disc brakes in the front, of course, vented rotors. Um, outside of that, this right here, look, the uh, front, I guess, would be like the cross member for the frame. Looks like it's in excellent shape. Sticking your fingers in all the little nooks and crannies. There's not even dirt in there. There's no pitting. Same thing over here. Um, very, very well kept uh, Lincoln. I would have to, I would have to guess this thing spent a lot of time in a heated garage. And uh, if it was driven, it was probably driven on uh, rather nice days. Probably uh, driven to, drove it to church on Sunday. 
Um, that all being said, let's take a look at wheels and tires. Okay, for wheels uh, and tires, we have American Classic wide white walls, 235, 75, R15s. Looking at the, uh, the tread pattern here, really, I was going to say this thing has a great alignment on it, but they look brand new, actually, the tires do. Uh, of course, we got a digital alignment rack here. We align everything if it needs it here. Um, it looks like we got a uh, bone stock original rim on this thing. Let's go check out the rears. All right, in the back, we have the same size, 235, 75, R15, which means you can rotate these tires. Um, we do have, of course, you know, wide white, and we do have the original uh, looking uh, rim in the back as well. And uh, something else I'd like to point out, a lot of really popular spot for these cars, the rust is like low in the quarters. There's not so much as, as a speck of rust I can feel all the way around this thing. I mean, I can even still see, if you want to come over here, you can even still see the spot welds. I can nick myself a little bit. You can even see the spot welds in the, uh, the wheel well. That uh, is implicatory of this car being a, uh, a, a damn nice survivor. And of course, all the trim under here looks like it's in good shape. It doesn't look like it's all tarnished up and destroyed. Same thing as the, uh, the underside of this here drop down. If you can stick, you can see it. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful even up in here. There's still clear coat on this. This car has survived very, very well. Um, it's, a, it's, it's, just, it's nice. Let's go check out the uh, numbers matching uh, 460 under the hood. All right, guys, this is the underhood of this uh, Lincoln. This thing has the numbers matching, as you heard me say underneath, the numbers matching 460. I've solved the VIN number. It's a, it's a D1VE block, which is known as a relatively strong 460 engine. This thing from the factory um, back in 1976 made 202 horsepower, um, which, you know, 76 were in the thick of the uh, emissions years. So uh, that's not that surprising, although too, not too god awful for uh, this time period. There are things that, that came out way worse than that. Um, but this thing did make a pretty impressive uh, 353, or, yes, 353 foot-pounds of torque. Um, so that's uh, what we got going on under here. Looks like uh, the ignition appears to be completely stock on this thing. It even uh, maintains all of like, the original, what this right here uh, would do as, um, of course, as the engine would heat up. This uh, would open up like a little vacuum line in here and it would actually like uh, increase timing and things like that to raise the engine RPM to get the fan rolling faster in order to cool the engine off. Just things like that. Things nowadays that all the computers will do for your cars and uh, you know it does it all automatically. They had to find a way to mechanically do all this stuff on these uh, older vehicles and uh, a lot of it is, is quite, a, quite a bit of impressive engineering. And there are things like that all over this thing. Um, for example, we have uh, this right here. A lot of people, this looks like a uh, FL1A uh, motorcraft or yeah, motorcraft oil filter. That is a silencer, so you don't hear the induction noise of the uh, of the intake when you go wide open throttle. Because this is a Lincoln, and these luxury cars should be befitting of someone. You know what I mean? To, to be quiet when you actually give them wide open. Um, speaking of throttle, we actually have a uh, the original motorcraft 4300 four barrel underneath the intake or underneath the air cleaner there. Um, looks like all the vacuum hoses are actually going to everything as they should be. Doesn't look like anything has really been monkeyed with too much, although that master cylinder does look to be a little bit newer than everything else under here. And uh, it was probably a good idea just to, you know, change it just for the sake of it. Outside of that, we even have the smog pump still on this. A lot of the time that stuff got robbed. Looks like the uh, inner fenders look like they're in good shape. Let me see here. We, looks like a firewall is in really good shape. Looks like the original wiper motor on it. I can see a Ford part number on that. Does look like we do have new battery cables and a starter solenoid here. Um, looks like we even got some like Ford stickers still on everything. So someone actually went to the time to actually really keep this thing really nice, really original. And uh, it, it really is a time capsule. And like I said, if you really get to looking under here, some of the way that a lot of this stuff is engineered, um, it's actually pretty impressive. That all being said, if you'd like to have this thing parked in your driveway, make sure to call Thomas, the number below, and let Vanguard Motors park your dreams in your driveway.